What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my review for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So overall, I want to say that I'm, I'm impressed with the show. Um, it did a lot for what they presented in the six episodes, and it feels like they accomplished more than what they did in WandaVision, but both shows share one um, downside in that they saved a lot of the best material for the end, and they spent more time or more of the early episodes on extra development that felt like it didn't need to be done so it felt more uneven where some of the development could have been done more evenly throughout the season and rearranged a little bit differently so overall i want to say that i was impressed more impressed with falcon and the winter soldier so they had fewer episodes so it feels like they um, were able to compress it and tighten up the story a lot more than they did in one division but the last couple of episodes progressed it a lot more and gave us a lot more of an update as far as the world as it stands um, after the snap and everyone brought back um, from the end of Avengers Endgame so with that being said um, it is good to see that Sam was able to progress his way into understanding more about the super soldier serum um the flag smashers um retiring the shield because he wasn't comfortable with it but understanding his this is gonna sound weird just because of the context of it but understanding where he fits in the world um not necessarily his role or place in the world but one of those things where he's having to square being an african-american um war or army man and dealing with being or putting on the or taking on the mantle of captain america who was a caucasian guy so um overall i like that's progression very well i like the um interactions and story that he had with the first african-american guy who took the super soldier serum who was not steve rogers so i actually kind of wanted a lot more of that and would have liked to see maybe that tied in with the flag smashers and how they might have um, been an evolution of the or I guess they kind of technically was an evolution of what the original program was with the super soldier serum and the flag smashers wanted to find their place in the world and um, how, fit in better but I like how they tied in that first um, African American guy with the super soldier serum with uh, Sam wanting to find his place in the world and squaring away being Captain America or the new Captain America and kind of having the same values as Steve Rogers so definitely the last episode had good um a good context where he was talking to the senators about how they need to do their responsibilities and he kind of is going to take on that role of doing what he needs to to do the right thing rather than live by other people's rules so if anything i want to say that this worked out a lot better and then having the guy who the government picked as captain america um johnny walker um coming out and not being able or basically the whole thing about um i forget what the doctor's name was from captain america the first avenger but basically making good things better and bad things worse so um johnny walker was kind of two separate beings so he's he's not necessarily a bad person doing worse things but he's bad is worse and good is better so he, even though he's trying to do the right thing it comes out being for the wrong reason so um that evolution of his character and um, the loss of his friend and um ultimately um not being able to take on that role but then somehow julia louis dreyfus showing up to um give him the role of becoming u.s agent so now that he's captain america but working for the government um it's going to be intriguing to see how they present him in the rest of the mcu how he shows up in maybe other tv series and all of that stuff so overall good six episodes um i am assuming it's like wandavision where it is going to be a mini series so we'll see how all of this plays into the rest of the mcu um maybe how it ties in with uh sword from wandavision and all of that and basically the rest of the mcu so 
um, overall, if I was to give it a grade, I'd probably give it a grade of about a B to B plus. Um, generally good storyline. I like the acting. I like the story arc with the first half with Sam and his sister in the boat, and that progressing into the story with the Flag Smashers and Johnny Walker becoming U.S. agent and the first African American super soldier with the super soldier serum. The interactions with Bucky and um, Bucky telling him that he Steve gave him the shield for a reason and basically Sam coming to terms to square away how he can be Captain America in this new world. So that's all there is for this particular review. Um, not much to say for the series other than what I brought up. Um, but if anything overall I liked the story arc with all the various characters and um, Sam coming to terms with being the first African American um, Captain America and not taking the serum. And then of course the um, ending result with um, learning that Sharon Carter is the power broker so seeing what kind of permissions and interactions and um, progressions she makes in this new world seeing if maybe the Flag Smashers or her organization becomes the new Hydra or how that all comes into play. So I will admit I don't know much of the lore or um, story behind what happens now after the after Hydra and S.H.I.E.L.D. were taken down and what agencies rep um, replace them or how that all works. So I'm very curious to see where they take it from here. So that's all there is for this particular review. So. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is heads, Headphones Neil Reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. As far as upcoming content, look out. The next episode is going to be my review of the 2021 version of Mortal Kombat. Um, patrons can expect a bonus episode um, for stuff in the next uh, week or so. Um, I'll continue, or I'll have also the next Star Wars lore for patrons. Um, so if you listen to the last episode, you'll know the upcoming couple of episodes already. Um, and um, I'm continuing through my Game of Thrones rewatch, so patrons can expect those um, extra hot take reviews prior to my completion of the rewatch, which will be released uh, publicly for everyone based on all eight seasons. But that's all there is for this particular episode and review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.